Hello everyone, I'm starting a new series this Friday where we're going to try and do more sketches. I don't know if everyone has been aware of sketches, but I've just recently um, really gotten into looking them up, you know, on Pinterest, and um, I found this company, uh, Mojo Monday, and they have sketches for the week and this one was one from back in like 2014 it's sketch number 358 and so I'm gonna take you through most of the card I've pre-cut prior to starting the video because I didn't want it to go so long with me cutting and trying to figure out what to do so this white piece right here is actually I want to say it's two and a half by two and a half and we stamped our image on that and then the sentiment that came with the set is going to go on this banner and if you have room you could have put the sentiment on with the item you know that you stamped uh, this is just the way that I wanted to do it with the um, sketch that I have here and I'm leaving the sketch on the table so that as we put it together the image is still there. So we have our stamping done. Now we're going to put everything together. Now the fun part I think with sketches is that it allows you to use your pattern paper um, which a lot of us who are just stampers don't tend to use a lot because you're stamping the image, you're coloring it in, you know painting, um, sometimes you may use pattern paper for like a background, but for the most part, a lot of times you're not using it. So what this is going to help do is for those of us who have like the 6x6 six six paper pads, um, the 12x12 12 12 sheets, you can use those to create these sketches. And then I was just showing you the punch there that I um, used to create the scalloped edge laying down some tape on here and I can feel my tape runner is actually starting to feel like it's running low so what I'm gonna do real quick I have my tape runner my ATG, ATG gun near me so I'm gonna use that to tape up the bottom half and when I go to lay down this bottom half, I actually realized I didn't put the uh, scalloped edge in the right spot because my paper is hanging off the edge. So I'm peeling it up. And because I use tape runner, uh, the scallop border is actually easy to pull up as well. And I'm just moving it up slightly so then that way this time when I lay it down, A nice border around the whole edge. All right. And then I had a strip of black paper that I was going to put on top of the edge and I couldn't find it. So I was thinking maybe I would use this piece of white. I didn't like that. So what I decided to do was just pause real quick and I got a strip of black ribbon and I like that better so to get all of this put together permanently I'm gonna take my white paper that's gonna go on top of the gray cardstock that I'm using for the base I'm gonna attach the ribbon here and I just you know put a line of the tape down and then that allows me to kind of move and place the ribbon where I want and then once I have it, I just rub the access uh, tape off of the front of the card so that way it's not all sticky on the front. That's what I'm doing there. And then you're going to see I'm going to turn it over. And once I put down my tape, I'm going to lay down the ribbon and anything that's excess, I'm going to go ahead and just trim that off. ahead and tape up this piece and place it on top there and 
most of this, and I could have matted the, the white piece that I put down, I could have put it on top of, you know, a black piece of paper to keep that one being matted as well, but I kind of liked it the way this turned out. It's up to you, really. You know, you can put as many layers as you want. If you're a person who likes a lot of layers, then go ahead and, you know, put that layer there. I just liked, I wanted the white on the gray cardstock to make everything else pop off. And I really wasn't thinking about that and that as well. I'm using the gray as the matte. And once I'm laying everything down, I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to put um, my piece. And instead of doing a flower, like if you ever use these sketches, a lot of times, um, from what I've heard from other people, is that the flower there is just to let you know that you to put something there so for our card we're gonna put a butterfly there's nothing nothing's better than flowers and butterflies and I just loved it I think it goes really well so I'm just putting a little um, piece of foam tape behind it and then to give it some dimension I have some um, bling that is actually like almost on a string so I just took three of the the bling and I kept them together and I'm just laying it down the center um, or the body of the butterfly. And sorry about the nausea cam right there going in and out, but I just wanted you to see the sketch next to the card that I made. So and you can see there's slight things that are different, but the whole card itself came out pretty well. So, I hope you guys like this. I know it's something different, but I've been trying to step outside my comfort zone, and maybe this will help you step outside yours. So, just hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys at our next video, and I hope you have a great weekend.